Hey and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Leanne, I'm doing Slimming World. I've just completed my week 18 and I am now on week 19. So far I have lost four stone eight and a half pound and I'm quite enjoying my journey. Um, I thought while I've got a minute to myself that I would have a little bit of a chat with myself and document this because just at the minute I have got a real shift in mindset. So it is my theory that like the mindset that you've got during your weight loss journey is really, really important. I always say that you've got to be in the right headspace to diet and right now I do feel like I am. The fact I made the choice to join Slimming World means that I've made that commitment to myself and the fact that I have done it for like 18 weeks now is far better than what I've done before. So I'm like a stereotypical yo-yo dieter. I try and do a bit of a diet, it's quite extreme. I can't say I've been in the, like, the correct mind frame and I've, I do it for a few weeks, lose a fair bit of weight and then fail. So this week, well, on my journey while I've been doing it, I'm going to be honest with you, as much as I'm trying to document non-scale victories and scale victories and be really positive about it, I can't say that I have seen much of a change in myself and it can be sometimes a little bit disheartening and can make me feel a bit like meh about this journey because other people are losing weight around me that I've got to join me on this journey and it can be a little bit, I don't know, I I don't really even know how to say this, it can sometimes be a little bit disheartening when I see people around me that have lost less weight than me that seem to have got masses of improvement and have changed the way that they look. <coughs> For me, I haven't dropped like an horrendous amount of like dress sizes compared to how much weight I've lost. There's not masses of difference. I don't feel like I look any better and things like that. So when I started this journey, my first like thing that I wanted to achieve was I'm doing it stone by stone and half a stone by half a stone and trying to hit the milestones. But they're like really like mini goals for me. So overall, I really want to lose five stone before I go on holiday. And when I first started, I was a bit defeatist in my head. I didn't think I was going to achieve that. And it were like all the word I used to use all the time that really stands out to me is if I, I meet that, if I achieve that. So this weekend, I have been, I've got some orders through and I've started thinking about clothes for going on holiday on the 1st of September. I have seen a bit of a shift in my mindset because rather than thinking if I do something, I have started to say when and when I achieve this, which isn't a massive deal to a lot of people. And I get that people won't maybe get it if they ever watch this. But for me, it's a massive, massive change. So I like been talking about if I get to this five stone mark, if I drop dress sizes, if I get to this size, if I ever get to be able to do some things, if walking gets easier, if I stop aching and stuff, if I look slimmer. And it's always been if. And this weekend, I got an order through from Vinted. So I've been selling some of my clothes on Vinted um, that were too big for me and that are stuff that I just wouldn't wear. And from the money that I have made, I have then bought some new clothes. Well, I've been looking at like Vinted dresses and things like that. They can be quite small in sizing and like... I've seen some jackets and things and when I've been looking at them previously, I have been like, oh, if I can get into that, if I can do this. So these clothes now I've ordered are a size smaller than what I am now and they've arrived and I've tried them on and like there's gaps at the back of the dresses that it won't fit and it's not going to fit at the minute. But rather than me saying, oh, if I can get into these, if I can do this, I have now started, like, I found myself saying, oh, I've just got some more weight to lose, like another stone. And I, like, when I get into these and when, and I'm not saying that I know when I'm going to get into them, but the fact that my mindset has changed to when rather than if is, like, 
it's massive for me. It's something that I've never really done before. And I am now five and a half pound, I think, from my five stern award. And rather than thinking if I can get to that, I am now saying like in my mind and I'm saying it out loud that when I get to that or when I do this and when I get that, um, my mind is already like running now forward thinking, what's my next target? Whereas I never, ever, ever, I felt really uncomfortable putting like a five stone target on myself. And now I'm heading towards that. I am actually thinking like, what will be my next target? Um, that is a massive non-scale victory for me. In fact, it's it's massive. Um, I never, ever thought that I would get to that point. I couldn't, it's not even something that I really even thought of. It was just a given that I would never feel like I were going to get to that kind of mindset. And to have got that, it's made me feel a lot more positive. This week, I have found myself finding... Like, I'm not being as hard on myself with what I'm eating and the, it doesn't really feel like it's an effort to do this diet and do what I'm doing. Um, I've had some real, like, I've been really busy and I'm not going to lie, I've had, like, I'm finding it difficult to plan stuff in. But, like, last night we went to Ikea later on and I'd not ate all day because I'd forgot to take my dinner with me to work. And I had the veggie plant-based meatballs with some gravy, some chips and some peas. Well, other than that, I'd only had an omelette all day. And I didn't completely freak out. It weren't like, oh my God, I failed. It was like, that's okay. Like, I ain't had any other sins. I can go home and I don't have to carry on eating. Um, and if I curb that, it'll be absolutely fine. And for that, I'm feeling more positive and better. Um... I'm not going to lie, in terms of exercise, I'm still feeling a little bit negative. Like, the backs of my ankles are really hurting and the bottoms of my feet. And, like, I'm forcing myself to go out on a walk. I have started doing now, I've done the Bruns Award, um, Body Magic, but felt a bit, I don't know, like, there were no end to that. I, like, I achieved it and nothing much. Like, I think I wanted an award, if I'm going to be honest, in group. Um, so then I've started up the silver award this time and like I've been and took the dog, even though I got back late last night from work, I put the dogs on the lead and went for a walk. It was only half an hour, but I did go for a walk and got more steps in and felt better about that, which that in itself made me feel a bit more positive. And it just got me thinking, um, about being a bit kinder to myself with words and like I'm documenting this so not only can I document like the negative feelings that I have about stuff and the situations that have got me here but also so I can document like the positives and my achievements and things like that so what I've started doing which I found like I'm starting to find quite helpful is in the notes in my phone I've started like writing down the like positive affirmations like when I achieve my five stone target like I will feel better about myself and I have lost a hell of a lot of weight um when I lose six stone I I'm gonna be a lot healthier and I'm getting to like I've just I've just wrote down a few positive things about what I've achieved the I have done like 18 weeks on this diet, that's over four months and I've stuck to it and I am finding walking a bit easier, um, I'm sleeping a lot better, I, I, I've encouraged and inspired other people to join this diet as well and to make positive changes for themselves. Um, yeah, I've just started writing some of them down and like even and it sounds really cheesy but stuff like I am a nice person that does nice things for people and done that as a positive um that I'm if I'm going to be honest that I am worth this effort and this time that I'm putting into myself because I've never really felt like that and that I can socialize and go out and look nice and that I need to stop thinking of myself as being a bit of a failure and really ugly just because I'm overweight and like I'm writing some stuff down that's like positive towards myself so I can change that kind of mindset all round. 
um I do feel like I can achieve this and I'm not putting pressure on myself to like do it by a certain amount of time so I've got the goal of going on holiday and losing five stone but if I don't achieve it then that's fine it can come after um the like I even when I've been on holiday that I'm not really done yet and that I've got this journey to go on and even if I lose a pound a week it, it doesn't really matter as long as it's coming off I mean I've spent a lifetime of being overweight and struggling and doing all these things and actually even if it takes me a lifetime to battle this it's it's I'm doing like each week that passes if I just lose half a pound or a pound I'm a pound or half a pound lighter not heavier and that's like one baby step towards getting to my target and getting to my goal and feeling a lot better about myself and feeling more confident and it's it's quite nice to to feel like that um I am noticing a difference like I put on a thing like my bra size has gone down and that's positive and my clothes fit me a lot better um I've got new clothes that are smaller sizes that are different styles that I generally wouldn't usually try and that feels a lot better um I'm enjoying watching the numbers go down and when I first started like getting out in the 20s sent miles and miles away and now it's actually achievable and I've done that like with the support of the group and Ange and Caroline who have both been the Slimming World consultants they've been supportive and positive and really kind and really nice and I you know like I've got these tools in front of me that actually mean that I can I can do this and I can achieve it and it feels really quite good I'm not gonna lie that I feel I'm just feeling so like much better and I think if you're somebody that's like heading into a big weight loss like this you need you know like my advice and what I wish I could have told myself earlier is that you need to be kind with you know like the voices that you have in the like your internal dialogue the voices in your head whatever you want to call them which makes me sound completely psychotic you need to change them voices to be a bit kinder to yourself and stop giving yourself such a hard time and stop guilting yourself and accept that you are human and nothing's going to be amazing and that things do take time and everybody's bodies are completely different and things are going to work at a different pace and you're not in competition with other people the only person that you've really got to set like milestones and things is yourself and just to stop looking on social media and feeling so bad about yourself to a point that everything feels so unachievable and actually just look into your own world a bit and be kinder to yourself with like your positive talking to yourself and encouragement and actually acknowledge what you're achieving and where you're going and what you're doing and I feel a lot better this week and this is a really boring upload and I know it's going to be and I do apologize for that but it's something that's like important to me and something that I feel needed to be said because I need to remember this and there's times I know I'm going to probably watch this video a thousand times and like my message to myself is you've come a long way you've lost a lot of weight like nearly well four and a half stone in itself is unbelievable and you never ever ever thought that you were going to do this you never in your wildest dreams like you literally accepted that you were just going to be overweight for the rest of your life and that you were just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and heavier and the struggles and the limitations were there and that you've just got to accept them and I'm quite proud of you they like this is me speaking to myself for doing this for this amount of time and getting to this point and regardless of like all them internal things like the things that bother you and the stuff that's happened to you over the years that have made you feel like you're not worth this and not putting this time in and not rest for it i'm quite proud that you are being selfish for the first time in your life and really going for this and doing it properly and that you stick to it 
and that even when you've had bad weeks that you're getting back onto it and that you've achieved what you've achieved so far and I'm really proud of you that you're not a selfish cow that is competitive with other people that encourages other people to better themselves even like even when you're doing stuff for yourself you've always made time for the people and I'm proud of you for that and the fat Leanne is actually doing good you've lost a lot of weight that is like a small child that is like you're doing good and you just need to crack on it and keep doing it and be kind to yourself and do you know what if you are on a weight loss journey and you feel a bit crappy then maybe you watch this and take a few hints to be kind to yourself and maybe record yourself a video telling yourself that you are actually proud of what you've done so far and what you're achieving and I'm proud that even last night when I was tired, I still got the dogs on my lead and went for a half an hour walk, which is nothing to some people. But do you know, for me, that is big because I never usually would do that. So, well done and crack on. Keep doing it. You will get there. Maybe take you a year, maybe two, but you will get there.